Virgo, welcome to Saturated in Love, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. Hope all is blessed in your world. If you're new, please click subscribe so you don't miss a video. Holy Spirit, on behalf of Virgo suns, moons, risings, and Venuses, what message do they need to hear? Spirit wants you to know about challenges and travel, okay? First, we have challenges. It says, unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you are open. Please take over, divine, and guide the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. What could dear Virgo Collective be facing? What is the challenge? We have heart with a key coming out. It says, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together perfect. Many of you are wondering who is going to be your next relationship. Many of you are wondering if you should give somebody um, a, an opportunity to enter into your emotional space. Um, should you trust them? Should you help them? Should you continue to love them? Is this the one for you? Clock is also a challenge. This reminds me of a clock ticking, a divine feminine or female getting older, feeling as though if she wants children, she has a X amount of time to do so biologically, naturally speaking. Out there, Virgo, who will I give my heart to? My clock is ticking. Also, going through the motions, still needing time to heal for some of you is the challenge you're facing. Mom, I now, love you. I love you too. Holy Spirit also wants you to know about travel. It says, let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony. May divine order arrange and handle every detail. I'll be guided easily and follow the leads as they are shown. It looks like many of you are about to take a trip. You're traveling. Holy Spirit, what are they... Uh, journeying towards this trip could be happening literally for many of you who are planning it okay cj please get down we have igniting the exciting you're on a journey you're traveling to somewhere you desire to be a place that you miss could help you find your balance back. If you're experiencing challenges where you are now, a trip, a vacation, getting away from it all could help you. May the divine guide your steps as you ignite your passions. Maybe you're not where you ought to be, dear Virgo. Quite literally, maybe you're not living somewhere that inspires you any longer. Have you put where you want to live on your vision board? Have you acquired a vision board? All messages from Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of dear Virgo suns, moons, risings, and Venuses. What is the present energy surrounding them and whoever's on their mind? This could be past, present, or future for you, dear Virgo. It is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for dear Virgo. Page of Pentacles. Six of Cups. You're getting a chance to build with somebody in your life who's been around for you for a long time. Many of you have a dear friend in your life or a love, a partner that is helping you now to focus on something you can gain from monetarily. What you don't know is that I feel like you guys are going to be working more on material needs and wants in this season rather than your romantic prospects okay this is for those who are single i have the star in the reverse the world in the reverse spirit wants me to take these reversals meaning you need to pour more into you in terms of mental physical emotional spiritual satisfaction as well as you need to find your muse again you guys your romantic prospects are looking bleak for some of you in the recent past, Two of Cups, I feel like you wanted it to work with somebody. You thought you were seeing eye to eye. But then things could have came to the surface and you decided you don't like this person's mannerisms or you can't trust this person's 
um, motives is what you have decided. The moon is here in the reverse, meaning the person was not um, as clear as you are, as open about where this relationship was headed. So many of you put somebody on pause recently or just have started to doubt your connections because you don't feel like somebody's being as real as you are and as upfront as you are. This is going to make you guys feel like you have to withdraw within again. But don't go in. Spirit says to travel. Take flight. Even if it's metaphorically speaking, travel. Get away from the place you're in now that's dissatisfying. Travel to where energetically you want to invite love in and you want to give the key to your heart to someone. Jump to the future you that recognizes your clock wasn't ticking as quick as you thought it was and here you are living out your dream of family. The emperor in the reverse in the near future There could be a relationship with a masculine in your life that's kind of headed upside down. Yep, and you are undecided as to whether or not you guys are going to make it. There could be a man in your life that you're not speaking to right now. You guys fell out. Holy Spirit, what's the T on this? I have the hanged woman in the reverse. I feel like you want to move on. But the fact that this person is missing from your life is really messing with you. You guys got haystack pertaining this situation in the near future. Somebody you're uncertain about and don't know whether you should cling on to or whether you should let them go or not. Someone who's stopping you from progressing, from moving on fully and attracting new love. It says haystack, it says karma. You will reap what you have sown. If many of you feel like, well, I'm not where I'm supposed to be and I'm not with who I want to be, this is you reaping karma in the near future. Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. That's who this emperor is in the reverse. Could be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. But in the near future, you're not going to be able to know what the heck is going on. Maybe this is what the challenges were all about. Heads up. Many of you are uh, going to see a side of somebody that you never imagined you would But suddenly, I do have bread coming out. A period of prosperity and abundance will finally present itself. Thank you, Holy Spirit. How is dear Virgo going to be viewing themselves at that time? Spirit says, despite whatever person in your life has you feeling unsure and insecure, I will give you enough sustenance. CJ, you got to turn that off. He says, I will give you enough sustenance. I will give you the bread of prosperity and abundance. You don't need that person, all right? You're going to be viewing yourself as somebody who's not going to give up on yourself or the, your future and somebody that can persevere alone. Again, you are acting out your own major arcana in your minds right now, the hermit, recognizing that maybe these people you gave a chance to in the past weren't right for you after all also some of you realizing somebody you're clinging on to in the near future just isn't right for you after all many of you worried now that hey will you ever find the one in in due time quote unquote others viewing you as somebody who's trying to make the most of it right now trying to juggle everything that you need to get done with what you want to get done they see you trying to strategize and build a future for yourself. Pentacles is material positioning and status. 
Many of you just worried, like, am I going to make it? Where's my true love? Should I drop the person I'm with now that doesn't make me feel like I can trust in him or her? That makes me doubt how strong this union is. Because they're insecure, dear Virgo. They might be having you feel insecure, okay? Clearly. If they're insecure, they won't be able to progress anything with you. They won't be able to commit to you and give you what you want, not at all, okay? Dealing with an insecure person will never leave you secure. Message. Again, general reading. Your hope or your fear. And we have justice. You just want big Libra energy. You want what's fair. You want what's yours. What's mine is mine. <laughs> Final outcome, we have the devil. I'm done. I'm actually... Goodbye. The reading's done. See you next week. Peace. Yeah. So the devil, Holy Spirit, why is the devil here as a final outcome? I do see lovers attached to each other, feeling codependent, feeling like, well, I can't get rid of uh, this person. I'm stuck with this person. Six of Cups. Woo. <gasps> yeah, there's somebody that has been loving you long time and you loving them long time. You don't feel like it's growing, perhaps, right? Perhaps. Y'all are definitely stuck together. I will tell you, you are playing out your karma. All right. Don't forget. Even if you was a needle in this haystack right here, they'd find you. Why? Because they're a part of your karma. <laughs> you will reap what you have sown. Let me tell you, any challenges you're facing in present partnerships, you're just playing out a little karma, dear Virgo. Many of us play out past life uh, karma. So people will be like, well, what did I do? Maybe in a past life you did something, but this is just a hiccup. What is the romance angel's advice? Holy Spirit for dear Virgo. If they're questioning their partners, if they feel uh, like their partners are not being as open with them as they'd like. What is the romance angel's advice? Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is for dear Virgo. Healing family issues. You guys, together, it says your love life will benefit as you forgive your parents. Okay? Your love life will benefit as you forgive your parents. Many of you didn't have the best example of a mother and a father a relationship. Um, many of you perhaps were not born out of love, right? Or born into homes with two parent homes or, you know, given the proper, not everyone, but many of you weren't. And so all of this is karma. It trickles down on us. It, gi it gives us a sense of self-worth. If you or your partner is insecure, the challenges you face will seem so much worse than they actually are. Being stuck in your toxic ways is going to be so much worse than it has to be. Lover's Oracle. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the Lover's Oracle guidance for dear Virgo in their present partnerships? If they're facing challenges whatsoever karma going through issues of karma could be in karmic relationships could be waiting on their divine masculines divine feminines could be feeling like they're the only one giving the best foot forward in this thing what do you need them to know? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Dear Virgo, it says, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Dear Virgo, accept this. I accept it for you. Be blessed. Peace.